stick together no matter what happens. They're going to make plays, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, stick together throughout every day. We're going to make plays. 17 different defensive backs have appeared in a game this season for the Tennessee Titans. That's 17. For secondary coach Anthony Midget and safeties coach Scott Booker, that has meant some serious mixing and matching of personnel. Not only have injuries factored into it, but so do specific schemes and specific skill sets that fit those schemes. Kevin Byard has been the obvious constant as he had stellar play throughout the season. The other constant will surprise you. It's rookie nickelback Elijah Molden. Molden has factored into both run defense and pass defense. He sure has impressed Byard with his work. For a guy like him to come in and to play our nickel position is already tough. You have to do a lot of communicate. You have to be able to play linebacker sometimes and also cover like a DB. He's done a great job. But another thing that I think is even better that he's just physical. He'll go in there and throw himself in there with the offensive lineman and go out there and make plays. Buster Screen has been a key addition to the secondary since arriving just over a month ago. But the cornerback who has made the most plays this season for the Titans is Christian Fulton. In spite of missing four games in October and November, the second-year man from LSU has made locking up receivers what his season has been all about. Number one, just last year, you know, with the injury that he had, you know, especially being a rookie man, you need those reps. You need to be out there playing games. I think this year, having a full offseason, he's having a really great year, and uh, I expect him to keep rising up because, I mean, I think he's a rising star in this league. Byard also loves to discuss his running mate at safety, Amani Hooker. Hooker was out of the lineup with injury for the majority of the first half of the season, but as he has gotten back into a groove in recent weeks, Hooker is showing up more and more. Garoppolo's going to throw it. Fires down the middle of the pass. It's intercepted. Hooker's range and closing speed are two of his best assets, and they are becoming more and more evident as we head down the stretch. One thing that's really underrated, obviously, he's a great athlete, but he's a really smart player. I think he'll have a super long career in this league because just the intangible that he has, great confidence. I'm just happy to see him out here having success because I remember he was drafted as a rookie and he was just playing in little small packages and stuff like that. Now he's taking a full year of being a starter. And then I talked to him about, you know, it's different when you're only playing three, 400 snaps a year. Now you're probably gonna play a thousand snaps. Love playing with him on love playing with him. Another guy that Kevin Byard loves playing with is 33-year-old Jack Rabbit Jenkins. Until an injury at New England, Jenkins had been a rock for the Titans over the season's first three months. Byard says that Jack Rabbit is more than a veteran cornerback. Jenkins also helps his team by bringing a little bit of levity. Just being in the locker room, he's a really funny guy. He's always making jokes in the, in the meeting rooms. Just been a joy to be around. The Titans have spent the majority of the season without a guy that they hoped would be a big contributor by now, first round draft pick Caleb Farley. Being a savvy vet, Byard predicts a big jump for Farley in year two, much like the jump Christian Fulton made from last season to now. The intangibles that he has, I mean, the speed, the size, he has everything that you would want out of a corner. He's fast. I think coming off the injury and stuff like that, he's going to have a really long offseason. I'm going to make sure I'm going to be talking to him about just understand, just attacking that process, the, the rehab, attack just as much you did when you was coming out for the combine or whatever. You have to make sure that your body and your mind is right because next year I really feel like in his second year, he can really take a huge step and be the guy that they seen when they draft him first round.